defense spending back by four and a half percent next year in real terms and raises non-defense spending by 43 billion dollars over this year's level. The bottom line is that this is a deal that we can all refuse. It's a budget that looks backward and forward and takes us in the wrong direction in terms of deficit reductions, taxes, and our national security. Well, I remember the reception I received in the House chamber last January with the words in my State of the Union address that you remember, quote, the federal deficit is outrageous, unquote. And as you may remember, the Democrats joined the Republicans standing to applaud at that point in my speech. I don't think they meant it, but they were prepared to blame me for it. Well, I think we've got to keep reminding the Democrats that they can't have it both ways. They can't talk about reducing the deficit while they vote to increase domestic spending. And I don't think people are going to tolerate that kind of backward thinking. What the people do expect of us is to make the government live within its means and to promote, not impede, our vast potential for economic growth. In the State of the Union, I also posed a question, how well prepared are we to enter the 21st century? Well, the five months since that time, the House has passed a trade bill that's a large step backward from the challenges of the global economy. It not only doesn't prepare us for the 21st century, but it sends us back to some disastrous prescriptions that are anti-growth, anti-jobs, and anti-consumer. Likewise, this budget plan of the Democrats, it's outdated before the ink can even dry. It would hinder our economy, slow down the engine of progress with more and not less federal spending. Yesterday, I took this message on the budget and spending the Melbourne floor. I made it clear that I'm resolutely against more taxes and more spending as the solution to our problems. And I have to tell you, I received just about as fine a reception as I've ever received. And incidentally, part of my mission there was to visit a plant that has had a 70% increase in productivity over the last four years, has almost doubled its employees, and uh, is like Harley Davidson was up in Pennsylvania. It says it isn't an industry, it's a religion. I've never seen such morale and people and all that they're doing. The, yesterday, I, or while we're not looking for confrontation with the other side, I think we, after all, are spending, uh, taxing and spending for less government interference in the lives of our citizens and perceiving the opportunities presented to the exploding knowledge and technology within our own economy today. I say it's exploding technology. I threw the whole plan along the assembly line and couldn't understand a damn thing I saw. <laughs> this is a program that stands in sharp contrast to the budget and trade policies of the opposition and we must be shy about stating our differences. The appropriations process is now starting up in the House. 
Bob. I hope our House members will remain as firm and united on those bills in opposing excessive spending as they were when the budget resolution was passed by the Democrats. And now I'm going to ask Bob Doe and Bob Michael to lead off our discussion. But I'll just say very quick that we had a meeting. Oh, thank you very much. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, so no good to see you again. It's like a year from last year. Great, great. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dennis McCann. Hello there. How are you? I think we all should be slanting a little more that way. Okay. Can I get one, Mr. President, with my son here? Well, yes. How's that? How are you? Just great. Nice seeing you, Bill McCann. Nice seeing you, Mr. President. Good to see you. You're looking great. I love your video. I love that Cicada concept. Mr. President, my name is Eddie Cicada. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. President. Hi, how are you? Richard Payne. Mike Gossett, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. That you very pleasantly put me on the, on the right side. <laughs> it's good to see you. Surprised, but there's another surprise. Yeah, with the last one. And this honors uh, both you and Mrs. Reagan uh, because there's a little triptych in here uh, that has many portraits of yourself and Mrs. Reagan on record. For heaven's sake. <laughs> Except for me and the 
it's my baby that I'm giving over to you. For <laughs> two years. I knew this. And incidentally, thank you all for what you've been doing collectively, and, and it's having an effect to make it some ground. I just declared war today over the Women's and Women's Association. And they presented me a little statue of the man of Concord Bridge, and I remember that he said if they mean to start a war, they start a war. <laughs> <laughs> for more taxes. unless I've got a gun with me. <laughs> <laughs> so much. And it's just so great. And there's just no words to say how I really feel about all of it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.